start journaling. You can have different kinds of journals. You don't need to have just one broad journal and then just put everything on that. I think that that's... <clears throat> I think that the, you could use some more organization than that. Personally, I have three journals. I have a recapsulation, so like, I write like what I did during that day, and then what I'm most proud of. Basically, just like recapping like the day. And then I have a gratitude one, so in that I just basically write what I'm grateful for. <clears throat> so how I journal is basically I journal right before I go to sleep. So around I usually take an hour before I go to bed, and then I start a recap, and then I go to gratitude, and then I go to my third one. So most of the time, the things I'm grateful for are things that are later in the day because yeah because they're still in my mind and I, yeah I don't really the things later in the day stick in my mind more so than the things early in the day although I will say they're just if there are certain events in the early in the early in the day then I will Write them down. And I'll be grateful for them. And then the final journal I have is thoughts. This is like my sort of general one. Where I just write down what I'm thinking. And usually this is... Not usually. This is the longest. And the mo one that takes the most time. So for recap and gratitude, I usually journal one page each. And then for thoughts, I journal three pages every day. So... Quite a lot. So I found that journaling, you you refine your thoughts. So for recap, I get a sense of accomplishment. I can show to myself how much I've done today and then be proud of it. On the flip side, it gives yourself accountability. If you didn't complete everything you wanted to do, and you write that down, that forces you, that mot it motivates you to strive to do better tomorrow. So, it's doubly good, in my opinion. For gratitude, For gratitude, I think that it really bounds you down to earth. It makes you live more. It makes you seek out positive things more. So it just makes you happier. I mean, who doesn't want to be happier? And finally, for thoughts, I've probably found the most benefit in thoughts because. It allows me to reflect. It allows me to really ponder and think. Like, the past couple of days, I was really, I wouldn't say struggling, but I was really just thinking in my head about religion. And so I journaled about it, and I think I more or less <clears throat> solved it now. So I'm grateful that I could journal that. I could write down what I'm thinking and then go through it and then reach a conclusion. So, will journaling solve all your issues? No. No, it won't. There's no magic pill to solve all your issues. Will it help? Yes. I think journaling will help. I'm not quite sure how much it will help, but I think it will help, but it will not solve all your issues. Going back to the journal, like, thoughts, it allows you to go through your emotions. So, like, if you've had an emotional event and then you journal about it, it really 
it allows you to digest it because digesting your emotions is essentially just reliving it in a way except from a third person perspective that's how I like to think about it it allows you to clarify and solidify your knowledge a lot of times when I am journaling I will really think on if the statement that I'm making is true or not and also a lot of the times I also question my beliefs like I say this one thing and I just think why do I believe this what made me think of this so for example I have a fear of flies not necessarily like being around them but more about the possibility of touching them so I just question myself why do I have this fear I think I have an answer but I'm not gonna share that and then you can also plan tasks and goals you can plan out what you want to do I find that planning is so beneficial. So, is journaling worth the time? Hell yeah. Journaling is worth the time. It is worth more the more time you give it. It's like an investment. You invest more time, but then it's like, it's pretty much guaranteed reward. Like, come on. And the thing is, you don't even need to journal for that long. Like, just five minutes each day. That's enough. Just reflecting on, like, what went well, what you could improve on. Just, like, one, one of each. Think about it. If you did that consistently for a year, 365 days, Constantly thinking about what you can improve on, what you went, what went well. First of all, you'd be much happier. Second of all, you'll be improving. That's worth. So some logistical stuff. Do you want to use paper or electronic? Personally, I type it out because it is faster. And I look at journaling mostly as a way to get my thoughts out of my head and not into paper so that I can like really go through it all. So I want to get like get my thoughts as fast as possible out onto the page. The thing is, my writing skills have definitely degraded because I haven't been writing handwriting in a bit and so it's quite it's quite slow <clears throat> so I'm limited in that sense and also with handwriting because it's slower than typing I feel like I need to be sure of what I'm writing about otherwise it'll be like a waste of energy and time because unlike typing I can just like, if I'm typing, like, a sentence at, and then I go back and like, oh wait, I don't really want to type that I don't want that sentence. I can just, like, delete that. And that sentence probably took, like, I don't know, like, five seconds. Handwriting, that would probably take, like, I don't know, 20 seconds. Anyway, it would just be longer. It would be more time. It would feel like more time was wasted to write it out with hand. With write it out by hand typing it out also means that I have the ability to access it whenever I want I'm not limited to a physical journal like I can just go on my phone if I want to and then journal I can journal on my phone or I can just review journals on my phone and I think that's quite valuable 
It also means I don't need to constantly buy more journal, more notebooks to journal on. And it also means I don't have to store those notebooks. And also I don't need pencils or pen. So... And it's also much easier to review my journal entries. I do a monthly review. So anything, I can just, they're all under the same document. Documents. So, so I can just go through all of them easily, not need to switch like physical journal notebooks. In general, it's just, I feel like it's more convenient. And I think I value that more than the sense of actually writing my hand. I know that writing by hand, it like connects you more with what you're writing with, or with what you're writing, but personally I value the convenience much more. So, start journaling. You find lots of benefits. Actually, no, not lots of benefits. You find benefits mostly in personal reflection, gratitude, sense of accomplishment. Okay, that's yeah. There's a bunch of benefits. So, start journaling. Get to it.